Hey everyone and welcome to another Gregory Allen Isakov guitar lesson. Today we want to take a look at that C, the Gambler, and if you're looking for more Gregory Allen Isakov guitar lessons and you haven't checked out my channel yet, you can click in the recommended section right up here and you will find a lot of other tutorials on his songs there. Alright, but let's jump right in with this one. We need a capo on the second fret and a couple of chords and those ones are going to be a minor, which is a muted low E string, then open A string, second fret on the D and G string, first fret B string, open E string, A minor, of course, all chord shapes related to the capo. Um, next chord that we need is an E minor, which is open low E string, second fret on the A and D string, open G and an E string. Next chord is going to be an F major 7, and there's two opportunities to play this. First one is you lay your thumb gently across the E string so it doesn't ring. And then we have a third fret on the A and D string with our ring and pinky, second fret, middle finger, G string, index finger, first fret, B string, open E string. And the other alternative is to press down with your thumb on the first fret of the low E string to get that F note in there gives it a real nice bassy feel to it. Next chord shape is almost exactly the same, but this time we put our middle pinky and ring finger up one string, so we have 3, 3, 2, 0, 1, 0 for our C over G. And the next chord is going to be a G at 11. We lift up our pinky, put our middle finger onto the second fret of the A string and then keep everything the same. G at 11 is mostly going to be used as a transition chord. And last but not least we need a G chord. We just lift up our index finger and put our pinky down on the third fret of the high E string to play a G chord. Um, I prefer playing it this way for obvious reasons for switching around. It makes it easier from the G at 11 and from the um, C over G, but of course you can also play it uh, this way if you like, it doesn't really matter. Alright, so with the chords down, let's take a look at the intro first. And the intro riff of course is what really stands out for the song, really catchy bass line going on in there. So to start off the riff we play an A minor but with our middle and ring finger lift off. So we've got an open D and G string, we strum the chord once and then hammer on both of the fingers to complete our A minor. Then we do three more down strums. After that we lift up our ring finger, put it on the third fret of the A string and play three, put it back, uh, lift it up, open A string, three again on the A string, lift it up again and then strum the chord again. Okay, so really slowly the start of the riff is going to sound like this. What you can also do is uh, put a little vibrato on that ring finger, okay? Makes it even cooler sounding. Okay. Okay, so we um, pick our bass string and then do three more down strums on the A minor just as before. Next time we do the same riff but this time on the E string, okay? So three, oh, three, and then open A string again to lead us back into the A minor. Three more down strums, just same as before, and this time we play three on the A string, O on the A string, three on the E string, and O on the A string again. Okay, um, three more down strums, and then we lift up the whole chord shape and do up down up to lead us into the verse. Okay, so the whole thing for the intro sounds like this. Accident. And then we go into the verse. Verse starts off with A minor. You can hammer on the whole chord for this. Down, down, down. Up. Okay, so this is going to be the strumming pattern for almost the entire song. So we just um, we start on the one and do down, but we rather try to accentuate the lower strings. Okay, so not we don't do not only pick the bass, but like the three lowest strings of each chord. 
Now we try to accentuate them and then we do so one and two and three and four and and on and we do another down up. Okay, so in total we've got four down strums and then a down up. Sounds like this. Same thing on the E minor. And then we move to an F major 7. And on the first strum, we hammer on our middle finger onto the second fret of the G string. And this hammer on on the first strum of each chord um, is going to be yeah, a common thing to do for this song. Okay, so keep that in mind. Um, as I said, F major 7, down, down, up, same thing for the C over G. And this time we don't only do up, down, up, but we do up, down, up, and lift up our middle finger at the same time from the second fret of the D string. Okay, so in total, our verse chord progression sounds like this. that a couple of times until he sings but that C um, and there we go to a G and play that C is just again the red heart. and then we just kick in the riff again uh, but this time we kind of delay it a little bit we play we don't play but we play We only play um, riff number one, so three o oh, three o oh, on the A, and riff number two, three o oh, three o oh, on the E string, before doing the up down up. Okay, and then we just play the regular chord progression again. So that part, that C is just a gamble at heart, sounds like this. That C is just. from the verse again until we come to that C is just a gambling fool part again same thing so G and then the two riffs on A minor and from here we move into the chorus first line of the chorus chord progression is going to be F major 7 to C over G to A minor to E minor with the same strumming pattern that we already know so it sounds like this of course you can add the little hammer on if you like time we have uh, a couple of irregularities in the strumming pattern we play our F major 7 again and do down down up and then on the G C over G we do down 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 up okay so down down up on the G at 11 and then a regular strumming pattern on the A minor okay so this line sounds like this around we do this down down up thing on every chord except for the A minor so second line sounds like this and then we add the little riff again all the two riffs okay so all together the chorus should sound like this interlude we play exactly the same chord progression as in the chorus 
And then we have the second verse, which is going to be C over G. Um, starts off with how I'd love to steer straight into the water. And we play C over G to F major 7. Okay, so this uh, chorus thing. Alright, so the same thing as in the chorus. The first time around we play down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, down. Okay, and the second time around we play down, down, up, riff again on the A minor. Then we go into another chorus which is going to be Come to Me Mary Come, so F major 7, C over G, A minor, E minor, then that same um, F major 7, C over G, G at 11, A minor thing, and the second time around with a down, down up on each chord except for the A minor, and then we move into an outro which is just the same chord progression that we just talked about over and over again. Okay? So F major 7, C over G, G at 11, A minor. And this time down, down, up. And the riff. The last line is going to be, oh, that dreadful gambling C. Just a single strum on each of the chords from this chord progression, and then that is already it. So I hope this tutorial was clear to you, that you, that you could understand everything, and that you can now play the song. So if you enjoyed it, please remember to leave a like and check out more Gregory Allen Isakov guitar lessons on my channel. And I hope to see you there again soon. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.